Underwater photography is a whole new world, where infinite photographic opportunities present themselves. It is also where even experienced photographers struggle at the beginning. Every aspect of photography becomes more complicated underwater. In this article, I will share some of my favorite tips to help you understand the basics of underwater photography and skip the initial struggle. Let's check the tips that can help you in advance underwater journey. One, understand how light behaves underwater. Light behaves in fundamentally different ways when it travels through water instead of air. This has major implications for underwater photographers. The most apparent difference underwater is that everything is blue. As an object gets further away, it will appear more and more blue. Likewise, as you dive deeper underwater, blue begins to replace all the other colors. The color red is especially susceptible to this change. Objects that are red at the surface will look very dark and desaturated at moderate depths, even if you hold them directly in front of your eye. They will also look darker at the surface if they are far away from you. 2. Change camera settings as you change directions. One challenge about exposing images underwater is that shooting downwards is totally different than shooting horizontally or upwards in terms of your exposure. At the same settings, shooting downwards may be extremely underexposed, while shooting upwards is too bright. So, when you're doing natural light photography, I suggest shooting in aperture priority mode so the camera accounts for these differences on the fly. You can also take advantage of auto ISO menu settings to set a minimum acceptable shutter speed, like 1 slash 200 second, and allow the camera to raise or lower ISO as needed. Aperture priority mode plus auto ISO is a good combination that still gives you full control over both your aperture and your minimum shutter speed. 3. Know the direction of the sun. Underwater, it's not always immediately obvious which direction the light is coming from. However, the angle of the sun is just as important underwater as on land, because it affects the appearance of light and shadow on your subject. Beyond that, if you're shooting toward the direction of the sun, you'll get substantial backscatter due to particles in the water, lowering contrast. Even when you shoot horizontally and the sun seems to be directly overhead, shooting toward the slight angle of the sun can lead to the same problem. For this reason, I try to shoot with the sun to my back for natural light photography underwater. For Make the most of underwater flash. Using a flash underwater is a double-edged sword. It can bring light and the color red back from the depths, but it can also reflect particles, creating bright spots and backscatter. The more particles, the worse the backscatter. The best way to avoid backscatter is by increasing the distance between the light source and the camera. Note, the camera, not necessarily the subject. This prevents the particles from reflecting light directly back to the camera, making them less apparent. Unfortunately, this is only feasible with an underwater strobe with separate arms coming off the camera. It's best to avoid using the on-camera flash unless everything in the photo is extremely close to your lens. Strobes attach to the camera by mounting your underwater housing to a tray table, onto which you connect a flexible arm, which attaches the strobe. Next, the strobe is triggered by a fiber optics cable attached to the housing in front of the flash. Strobes can illuminate shadows which allows you to shoot sunrays while still exposing your subject. This technique requires fine-tuning strobe strength, position, and settings so that the sun rays are not overexposed and the subject is properly lit. To avoid backscatter, it is recommended not to let the strobe flash brightly. Buying a strobe, arm, tray table, and fiber optics cable is not a cheap investment. However, it makes a huge difference shooting underwater, especially when at depth or if color is important. I should also note here that advanced underwater photographers typically shoot with two strobes, it nearly doubles the price but gives better light and fills in shadows. 5. Get under and up close. The amazing thing about being underwater is that you can basically fly. Use that to your advantage when shooting underwater. Shooting from the surface is the best way to take boring underwater photographs. There is much less contrast when shooting downwards, and it's unlikely to be the most attractive angle for your subject. Even in just a few feet of water, diving down means you can shoot horizontally which will capture more contrast and more of the background. Often, you'll want to get as close to your subject as possible. This goes back to the first effect of shooting underwater, which is that distance harms your contrast and colors. This is why most underwater photographers shoot with ultra-wide lenses, even fish eyes, to get as close to their subject as possible. 6. Don't scare your subject. 
The last thing you want to do when photographing an animal underwater is to chase it. That's the best way to get no more cool photos and ensure the only photo you get is of its tail or butt. It's better to stay as calm as possible and keep movements to a minimum. This will make any animal more accepting of your presence. Usually, animals hang out in a certain area for a reason and will not want to leave. Animals might even swim toward you out of curiosity if you just hold tight. If you're snorkeling, I recommend getting the hang of diving down while holding your breath to make the most of these encounters. You should also stay as still as possible to keep your body from spending precious oxygen. Practice in a pool if you need to. You can also dive much more comfortably, both snorkel and scuba if you equalize the pressure in your ears every 3 feet slash 1 meter or so, to counter the water pressure. You can do this by pinching your nose and gently exhaling through your nose. You should hear pop and feel the pressure release. If you do that, you can dive more comfortably and enjoy the encounter without flailing around and scaring away the best subjects. Thanks you for watching this video. I hope this video gives you soothing experience with the superb 6 tips. Stay tuned with us.